just thought that I would check a little video out there while I'm driving because I've got very little to do except think. goes my project Tanifa symbol flashing in the corner of the screen which tells me that I'm doing the right thing. Project Tanifa is about examining your darknesses and finding the light wisdom that they offer you. Enlightenment and action like the hard work of deeper wisdom, understanding and realization opening your real eyes to what's truly going on and the only place that matters inside your heart inside your mind and inside your soul I was just listening to a book called Aboriginal Secrets of Healing and it's by Gary Holt Robbie Holtz and Gary actually healed himself by and large from multiple sclerosis thanks to a remote tribe around Uluru which is considered to be the birthplace, the womb, the very womb of the earth over in, over in Australia. So he in this book shares his experience there and what it's all taught him about himself and our ability to self-heal. Some of you may know that I've been on a massive journey myself of healing and it's not just healing I don't have a physical illness but I have suffered from depression and anxiety and a lot of trauma and all of that stuff adds up to create a lot of shit to work through in my adult life but I'm on that healing journey now what touched my heart, touched really truly touched my soul and made me want to come on and explore it because that's really what I do during these videos is explore my own thoughts and feelings around the subject. Uh, bear with me, there is a crazy intersection right here. Oh, when will they finish work on it? It's so dangerous. So, um, what made me, what touched, what touched me and made me want to come on and explore it were the words, only when you unconditionally and completely look at something and unconditionally accept something, all of yourself, including your illness, including your trauma only then can you begin to heal only when you pick something up and look at it can you let it go so for all the people in my past life <laughs> meaning this life but people I no longer have in my life that have told me not to look back only to look forward well that's just denial of course there are healthy ways of doing it because our emotional body and our imagination science neuroscience has actually shown that when we have a memory of something it is as though it's happening again our body doesn't know the difference between imagination and reality so when we experience something in our imaginations or our memory we are actually right there in that event again which can be used for positive growth and manifestation of abundance and healing and amazingness but can also be unproductive if you're just dwelling on it. If you're dwelling on something over and over and over again just 
that stress, that acidic environment is going to create a whole bunch of uh, actual dis-ease in your body, disease for you to heal or not because modern medicine doesn't actually address the root cause it's just the symptoms the root causes are often linked into experiences that we've had in our past that we are either consciously going over and over again but more often than not subconsciously going over and over again but we've push them into a part of our subconscious where we don't have to deal with them but our body's still going over and over and over them. Uh, I know when I'm doing this because my toes start wriggling or my fingers start jiggling and I'm like oh there we go something's happening in my subconscious. <laughs> in any case uh, those people that have told me to just focus on the future and that your stories don't matter. While your stories truly do matter, if you can identify where they are affecting you in the present. And in the present, you know, a, a lot of things, as, as I just mentioned, create disease. But you can activate this part of, you know, how, how your body thinks that the shit's going on in the present. If you bring it into your mind and open up that viewpoint and don't just look at it from the perspective of the trauma, the traumatized person, but try and exercise some self-compassion and look at that situation from a wider perspective or maybe an upside down perspective or a bird's eye perspective and be the observer not the traumatized person be the person that's just watching it happen and see see what ways it has affected you or maybe see some different different views that diff different points of view or things that you never can your body now thinks that this thing's happening to you again, this offers an extraordinary chance to heal because you are back in that moment and you have now, right now when you are in the space, the opportunity to change that ending for your body and for your trauma. Really, truly, those, those words only when you unconditionally accept yourself, completely and unconditionally accept yourself, pick up and look at incidents. Can you begin the healing process? It connected with something the ocean told me on the lunar eclipse last week. that I turn to the ocean uh, and speak to the ocean, to the, I speak to the moon, I speak to the universe and I will get replies and I don't think they're just in my imagination but suddenly during a time of spilling my heart just like I'm doing to you now, I will sit in the silence between and words will just drop into my mind and I was examining I was doing what I just told you about and I was examining some of my trauma that I need to let go of because like they said only when you look at it can you let go of it and I thought I needed to forgive that person and I said mother ocean mother moon help me Help me forgive this person so that I can move on in my life. I said, Mother Moon, Mother Ocean, I forgive this person for what they have done to me, for what has happened, for the experiences I have had. Help me. 
help me. Help me feel this. Help me move through this process. Thank you for helping me move through this process. And I stood in the waves, bearing in mind this is the middle of bloody winter and the waves should have felt freezing cold but they felt like beautiful warm earth waters almost and it was just I, I imagined that all of this pain and all of this trauma was just sucked out into the ocean and then I could no longer no longer hosted in my body and in that silence as I imagined and knew this to be happening I heard the word well I didn't so much hear them but I just they, they just arrived you know they like just just this knowledge arrived in my mind and this knowledge said you have to forgive yourself and that that blew me up I was like, what? Myself? <sighs> myself? I have to forgive myself? Like, I ha what have I done to myself? This, this person's done this to me. It's not me that's done this to me. I, what, what have I done that I need to forgive? You know, I, I'm my own best friend. I'm the one that has always lifted myself up and picked myself up. What? I, I need to thank myself, not what do I have to forgive myself for, but that knowledge, once it's there, it won't go away, it just gently repeated over and over, you need to forgive yourself, not them, you need to forgive yourself. So when Robbie Holt 